Hello, it's Duncan. There's a simple refactoring technique that I use almost every day, but seems to be virtually unknown. You can use it to move code from one place to another, modify a function signature, add default parameter values, migrate types, and change calling conventions, all while having the IDE automatically fix up existing code. After a while, you'll be able to do it almost automatically and can eliminate those multi-day edit and fix why isn't it compiling yet marathons. If you only learn one compound refactoring, make it this one. Well, that's the shortest commit comment I've ever had out of AI Assistant. I don't think it really does that refactor credit. I often find myself with functions like these, this add and subtract, which have ended up in this item type file. And it's because they're used here, like there, but once they exist, we start using them in other places in our code base. So looking at where this add is used, you can see it's also used in some tests and it's used in subtract and subtract itself is used uh, in stock update item and in stock tests and other places. Now, quality is a lower level concept than our item type. Our item, here it is, has a quality there, whereas item type is in fact a strategy for how to update an item. So it feels like we should be moving this add and subtract to where quality is rather than where item is. So we have a move refactor, it's on F6, and we can select what we want to move, which at the moment is add, but I suppose we might as well do subtract as well. And these are currently in the file of item type, but we want to move them to a different file. We can click there and say we want the file where quality is defined, which is there. Refactor, things happen, and now if we go to that quality, we can see the functions have been moved. And if we look at the diffs, we can see that IntelliJ has added an import for the functions in the new place so that the old code can find them. And it's done the same with the other references. So I'm going to commit that so that we can see the changes as we go along. And now we're back in quality. We can see our functions, but also see perhaps that they should be methods. We should be saying quality.add rather than add quality and value. In fact, though, we can get that syntax by making this a receiver. So if we do that, we get that. And IntelliJ will now have fixed up the callers of this. Let's go and find one of them it is Brie update. And you can see here that this says item quality add, whereas it used to say add item quality. So now we have the syntax that we want. I'm just going to commit that as well. And now we can refactor quality from being an extension function to a method. Now, there isn't a refactoring for this, but what we can do is we can just take this thing, cut it out of here, and paste it into here. But if we do, we have an extra receiver, so we can just delete that. And now all the places that we're calling the extension function will be calling the method, providing they're recompiled. There's just one problem, though. And that is that we had to import the extension functions. Here's one here, but we don't have to import the methods. And so doing that manual move has broken all the places that we're using add. Now we could just go and fix those, but that's a bit tedious. So I'm going to go back to quality. I'm going to undo that change so that we compile. And now we're going to see how we can make that change without breaking things. What I'm going to do is take the entire body of this thing and extract a method from it. Now, I can't call that add because add is being used, so I'm going to call it plus. There we go. And that obviously won't have broken anything. And now it's this new method, this plus one, that I'm going to cut out of here and put into our quality. And it will only compile if I remove that and that. Now, at the moment, the only use of this plus is here. So all of our existing code is unchanged, and we can see that in the diff there, only quality has changed. But now if I inline this add and remove the function and run the tests, everything is fine. And that's because in the places where it's inlined it, IntelliJ has now removed the import, so we don't have to do the fixing up ourselves. I think we'll commit that. Now we have plus as a method, we can make it an operator. So let's add the operator modifier. Everything is fine. Good. But there's a problem, and that is that all the places that call plus, IntelliJ is remarkably slow at finding those. So for example, Brie update here, are still calling the function as a method rather than operator. Now we can fix that. But like with the imports, we'd have to go and find all the places and do it manually. Can we do better? Well, 
Let's undo that, go back, and undo the operator in this. Check all is still good. Now we can use the extract and inline trick to fix up all the callers. In the end, we want them to be calling plus. So to start with, I'm just going to rename this back to add. And now I'm going to take this body and extract a method out of it. Again, this method is the one I'm going to call plus, And I'm going to make it an operator like that. Now then, I want to replace this call here with the operator. I don't seem to be able to do that straight away, but if I had the explicit this, then that gives enough clues. Now then, our implementation is now in this operator fund plus here, but all of our callers are using this add. So once again, if I inline the one that everyone is calling, they will be replaced with the operator version. So if I find usages and look at Bree, there it is, that's been fixed up for us, as has that one and that one and that one. Splendid. I'm going to commit that. And now let's repeat the same process. So we can make this into a receiver. That's all OK. And now we'll take the body of this thing and make a method out of it. And I'm going to call it foo for now. Having called it foo, I can take this foo and move it up into here, making it public. That's fine. And now I can inline this subtract to fix up all the places that we're calling it. Oh, that's broken. That's strange. Go back, undo. Are we OK there? We are. Ah, I left the receiver on here. That was a bad thing. That is the same thing. Good. And now I can inline this. Subtract. And it has fixed up all the callers. Now, again, I'm going to take the body of foo. Make a method out of that, which is going to be our minus. We're going to make that non-private. We're going to make it into an operator. And now we're going to fix up our one caller of that to use the operator. But in order to do so, we have to add this for some reason. That's all still good, as we expect. And now we can inline this foo and run the tests. And all of our callers of minus will be using the operator. There's another one. This one here is interesting. This is minus minus one. You can see that came from subtracting minus one. Now, there doesn't appear to be anything to fix that, but I guess we can logic that that should be plus one, and the tests will tell us that we're right. Brilliant. And commit that. Well, that's the shortest commit comment I've ever had out of AI Assistant. I don't think it really does that refactor credit, but it will do. This extract change in line refactor is my Swiss Army knife of refactorings. You can use it to move methods from one place to another, reorder parameters, add or remove defaults, pretty much anything where we want to change a call and fix up all the existing callers in some odd way. Well, I hope you found that helpful. If you want to see some more usages, I think I must use it in practically every episode on this channel. So now would be a great time to subscribe if you aren't already. And if you prefer to see your examples on paper, then you could buy a copy of the book that I wrote in that price called Java to Kotlin, a refactoring guidebook, details of which are in the show notes below. Thanks for watching.